Nikki and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel if you're new. In today's video, as you can tell by the title, we are going to be doing a review. So we are going to be reviewing the Murad Hydration Refreshing Cleanser. Never tried a Murad product, but um, I did a TJ Maxx haul. And that haul, um, I literally just filmed it, just took off my makeup. So if you have any issues, you can take me down. It's the same night, boo. But I literally got it for $9.99 um, at TJ Maxx compared to $40 at other retailers such as Ulta, whoever the hell else they sell me around. And um, I'm intrigued. So this is a refreshing cleanser, removes impurities without over drying and helps soften skin. Creamy foaming cleanser washes away surface impurities and makeup without over drying. Cucumber extract and Hawaiian white ginger helps soften and smooth skin. So I did just use some Neutrogena wipes. Well, I used one wipe to wipe away my makeup majority of it. I mean, I still see some of the creases in my nose, but we're gonna worry about that after this. So um, the instructions are, so it says to use AM and PM, a massage over dampened face and neck, rinse, pat, dry. Warning, avoid. Contact with eyes. Doctor's tip, massage over skin, then pass fingertips on temple, forehead, and other pressure points to for stress relief. Okay, I'm gonna go grab a cloth really quick so afterwards, like, you know, we can pat dry, and then we'll talk about something right back. So I have my cloth, you know, my purple cloth, you know. <laughs> purple girl, so I haven't taken it out yet, so I'm gonna take it out of the packaging. It's oh, pretty and purple. We love it. Um, so same things on the bottom. This says step one. So I assume that, you know, they have like step two and so on and so forth. So um, massage over dampened face and neck. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to dampen my face. So I'm just going to take some water and just dampen the face a bit. And then we get into the cleanser. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can tell my face is dampened. Yes, you may see some mascara under my eye. Keep that to yourself. So, let's see what it looks like. You have to open it first. Duh. I'm gonna shake it a little. Okay. So I'm gonna pour some in my hand. Mm. Oh, it smells like shampoo. But not overbearing at all. So I'm gonna just rub it in with the fingers and then rub it on my skin. Oh, I can really smell like that white bit of blue. So I'm going to go ahead, oh God. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and wipe it off. So first looking on my face, so I have to say the smell is so good. Nothing overpowering or like that I think would cause an allergic reaction because I feel like I do have more sensitive skin, but it's a nice like calming scent almost and it felt so good on my skin, not harsh, so nice. And also while I was rubbing it off, my skin felt so soft, so soft. Uh, my skin does not feel dry and it definitely took like I did not have to rub or anything like I just you know made it nice and you know just with my two little finger whatever and it took away all the excess makeup the makeup that I had you know in the crease of my nose that I have trouble with took it all out and my skin like there's redness because when I rub my face and pat it like that happens but to me personally but um, my skin feels just very pretty I don't know how to explain it like I really like it so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do I'm gonna finish off my skincare routine so I'm just gonna add like my oil moisturizer and such and I'm gonna tell you guys my final thoughts on this cleanser and whether I will keep using it or not and whether I think you guys should buy it 
Okay guys, so I have finished my skincare routine and I'm basically going to share with you guys my final thoughts. The lighting is a little wonky, it's nighttime, but we'll stick with it. So I'm loving how my skin is feeling and looking. I put my moisturizer on as well as my Hoba oil and um, I'm honestly loving this. I feel like my skin feels so pretty and clean after the cleanser and although I did use a wipe beforehand I feel like it really took away all of the excess makeup I feel like I have nothing on my skin whereas honestly some cleansers that I use don't do that always I have to go in again or I have to finish off with a makeup wipe which is obviously not all that I want to do when I cleanse my skin I want everything out and that is what this has done for me now I'm going to continue use of this product because I really like it. My skin just feels really glowy and soft and refreshed. I don't know how to explain it, but no, I love my Cetaphil cleanser, but it doesn't do that for me. There's a factor in the Murad one that I haven't found in another cleanser that I've personally used. So I'm going to continue use with it and I really do like it so I hope you guys enjoyed this review slash first impressions and I hope it helped you guys do I think it's worth $40 I mean this is a damn good cleanser um I don't know if it's worth $40 but if it continues to treat my skin the way it's treating it then I would spend my coin but I would utilize any coupons any points any if you find that at Marshall's TJ Maxx girl better get it because yeah get it for the low if you can but um it was nice on the skin and that was honestly for my first time using like high-end skincare i never really used like high-end things so to feel the difference and to see the difference between high-end skincare and drugstore skincare is quite interesting for me because i you know i'm into makeup so i'm always you know looking at high-end and drugstore so this is interesting and i can't wait to continue this journey with this cleanser because i feel like she did my skin some justice so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to like this video comment down below and subscribe to my channel for more and i will see you guys in the next one bye